The Matrix Clock Kit comes with a plastic front and back cover, a circuit board, LEDs, USB cable, surface mount electronic components and mounting hardware. To begin with, remove the LEDs from the plastic package. Take note, on the LEDs there is a small triangular cutout to mark its position. On the board there is an oval shaped pad. This needs to line up with the small cutout on the LED. To install the LED, apply solder to the oval shaped pad. Then take the LED and place it on the board. Then reflow the solder to position the LED. Next add solder to the remaining contact points on the LED and on the board. Repeat this process for the next 104 LEDs, solder into the oval pad first and position the LED in place. With all the LEDs soldered to the board, begin installing the components to the back. The first component to be added to the back of the board is the mini USB socket. Cut out the three middle pins, leaving only the outer positive and negative pins. Place a small amount of solder onto the board then position and solder the mini USB socket, applying solder to the terminals and all four sides. Next will be to solder the capacitors and the voltage regulator. Place solder on the C4 pad, then rework the solder and position the capacitor with tweezers. Then apply solder to the second side. Repeat this process with the C2, C3 and C1 capacitors. Position the voltage regulator, hold in place, then solder. Next solder the two integrated circuits to the U1 and U3 positions. Taking note of the small dot is in the same orientation as the board. Apply a small amount of solder to the board, then with the chip in place, rework the solder. Then solder all the legs on the circuit to the board. Add some solder to the board and install the R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5 resistors. Then solder the transistor onto the board. Next place and solder the battery holder contacts to the board. Install the buzzer and turn the board over. Trim the legs flush with the board. Then add solder to the legs to complete the final component. To finish the assembly, take the acrylic grid and place it over the LEDs. Then fit the front and rear covers and secure with the provided bolts. Plug the clock in to a USB power source, then adjust the settings with the back touch pads. The finished clock is able to display the current temperature, time and date.